Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at animation in Figma. Up until now we've been doing kind of more page transitions, okay, with the whole thing sliding out, but now, you ready for it? Wait for it. Oh, hey. <laughs> cool, huh? Uh, that is the arrow sliding in, just the arrow, rather than the whole thing. Okay, and to do that we need to learn something called Smart Animate, and we need to add a delay on our pages. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so to animate in Figma, just like one element, we've just been animating like a transition between the entire thing. We just want this arrow to move in, like you saw at the beginning there. So what I wanna do is basically you have two of the same frame. So we're gonna have confirmation, this first one, we're going to duplicate it. So hold down the option key on a Mac, Oh, key on a PC, so we've got two of them. Okay, and on this first one, I want it to be off screen. Okay, kind of over here. Um, this one of the tips is when you are doing animation is I'm undoing that is just have a bit of space. Okay, so I'm going to move it over here just so I've got space for my arrow. So we're going to have this first confirmation where the arrow is going to be off. Okay, and the second one where it's going to be on. And to make the magic happen is we need to connect these two. Okay, so I'm going to click on this frame and I want to say prototype and I want to say go there. And when you go there, I want you to use Smart Animate. Okay, that's the one we ignored earlier. Basically, this works when there are objects of the same name on two, two separate frames, and it will animate them. Okay, it can see them on this first one, and it can see them on the second one, and it can see like, hey, they're in different positions. I'm smart, I'm gonna animate them. Okay, and I'm using the ease in and out back because it looked nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's give that a go. Um, confirmation. Let's hit preview, and it's not gonna work. I know it's not gonna work. This is gonna be the big thing that catches you out, especially with these kind of like slide in animations. So go, click once, it faded in. Okay, what's happening is, is that this arrow is actually not part of this frame yet. Okay, or not part of this frame anymore. There was a time it was, look, I'm part of this frame. Okay, so have a look over here in my layers panel. Okay, I've got this line 13 on the confirmation page. But watch what happens, look, watch it in the layers panel. If I drag it out, it's still part of it, still part of it, still part of it. At some stage it goes, boop, <laughs> can you see? It, um, <laughs> I'm not sure where that noise came from, but there you go, it is line 13 and it is now like, not in this frame or this frame, so it doesn't know what to do. So basically it says, there's no arrow. Now there's an arrow, so that's why it just fades in. So that's really important to make sure that it is part of this frame. You can have it over here, Okay, you just gotta make sure it is inside the frame and you do it by dragging it in. Now, we've got a little a little tip is, we've got two confirmations and that is pain. <laughs> it's hard to know which one is which in the layers panel. So I'm gonna do confirmation A and confirmation B just to be helpful over here. And my OCD says A needs to be below B, A, B, there you go. So now confirmation A doesn't have my little line in there. So all I'm gonna do is drag it in. There you go. It doesn't matter where it is. As long as it's in this frame, and there's one that corresponds in this frame, so there's line 13 where out there, and there's one there, it's gonna work. All right, so let's go and give it a test. So I'm gonna use my back arrow once. Okay, I'm just using the arrow. You can click these down here if you want, okay? Um, I'm on page four, click once. Hey, a little animation. Okay, so yeah, that's the basics of Smart Animate. As long as there's, there is something on both frames that has the same names and it does something different, it'll work. It could be even, uh, let's show a couple of things. One of the things with stuff off screen on confirmation A, we know it's there, like we can see it there, but we can't see it over here. So what we might do is turn the, remember one of the perks of a frame is under design with the frame selected, you could say clip contents. So it kind of clips it off so you can actually see it and work on it. It's still part of the right um, layer order. Okay, nothing's changed except you can see it now while you're working. But there are times you wanna kinda of turn it off so it's all tidy. Okay, so now I can see it, I can, we did animation of movement. It will actually smart animate anything. So let's say we wanna start it here, so it's still in the right, um, where were we? We're still in the right frame. It's still a different movement, but here we're gonna turn the opacity down to 10%, just so I can still see it. Okay, and let's go test that now. So back arrow, click once, woohoo, it fades in and does that. Okay, so there is a lot you can do. We're just gonna keep it simple for the moment. Let's talk about some of the quirks. Okay, so 
One of the quirks is that if you rename it, okay, so we've got line 13 and line 13, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna be very careful and good and rename at least one of my layers, okay, because it's got a different name now, it's not gonna work. Let's go back, back arrow, click once, just kind of like fudged it, okay? So if you've got a name one, that's fine, just make sure you name the other one, arrow. Back one, click, woohoo. Okay, uh, what else do I wanna do? I don't like the fade in, so I'm gonna go back up to 100%. The other thing I want to do is, I'm doing it on click. Basically what I want to happen is I wanna to go to checkout page, okay, and when I click this, I want the arrow to start kind of like moving in, okay, automatically. Because at the moment I have gotta click it and bring it in. You'll also notice if I go back one, when I click on this, because of the transition between the checkout page and the confirmation page, because it does this back and forth, you actually see the arrow look. That's weird, huh? So we're gonna do a couple of things. When the checkout is open in prototype, I don't want it to do the crazy, what are we doing? We're gonna get it to do on tap, navigate to our confirmation, perfect. But I don't want to do the move in. I'm gonna to go to instant, and I'm gonna turn that clipping back on. So back to design. Remember we clipped it off before, or turned it off so we could work on it? It's great while you're working, but if you start seeing weird things, you might have to turn the clip contents back on. So let's give that a go. I actually want this off screen. Make sure that it's inside confirmation A. Ready? So I'm gonna go back. Let's click this, instant. And I want it to automatically go across, not have to click somewhere and go across. So we're gonna introduce another kind of uh, transition between frames. Okay, so basically what I want to happen is when it gets to here, okay, and we go to prototype, Okay, the moment what happens is we say on tap navigate to this other confirmation B. I don't want it to be on tap. I just want to use this one that says after a delay. So I want it to get here, okay, and then after a delay of however long, okay, I'm going to turn it down to one millisecond. You can't have zero for some reason. Okay, you have to have one millisecond, which is one thousandth of a second. So it's going to be instantaneous. It's going to get here and then automatically move to this, okay, and it's going to still use our smart animation. So that's the only change. Let's give it a go. Let's go back to our purchase page. Give it a click. See, it got to there and then automatically moved on. If that's a bit confusing, let's change it to two seconds. So 2000 milliseconds. Okay, and let's go back. So we click this, it gets here, waits for two seconds and then moves to the other one. And the smart animation moves it in. You with me? If you're not with me, don't worry. We've got a few more of these to do. It is a little bit weird, especially if you're from another kind of animation tool where you've got a timeline and keyframes and Figma does it. But if you're thinking, this seems a little bit clunky, it is. Don't tell anyone. Okay, it is Figma trying its best to be all things to all people. All right, so the rules are make sure that the names of the things you wanna animate, like our arrow here, are the same on both frames. You have duplicates of the same frame. Don't move the stuff you don't want to, move the stuff you do wanna animate. You need to make sure that the smart animate is transitioning between the two. That's what makes the magic happen. And the other big thing is that everything needs to be within the frames, okay? What I mean by that is, remember our little arrow over here, okay, can't be hanging out in no man's land. It actually has to be on this frame and this frame, even if it's out in the artboard, it needs to be kind of grouped together inside that frame. Those are the rules of animation in Figma. All right, that is it. I will see you in the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up you likey thing, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do wanna go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.